No, Dad, please don't do this to me. He will come. He promised me he will. Hannah, I don't think he will come here. It's almost two hours. We are waiting for him. Please, I'm begging you. Mary Jason. Uncle, what the hell you are talking? How can I marry my best friend's girlfriend? Sorry, I can't. Especially, I have two kids. I'm already married. They both look at each other as then her father who is begging mass just to protect his pride. Now, I'm announcing you both are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. The bride was looking down not believing she just got married to another person. She was still glancing at the entrance hoping he will show it up and stop this wedding but he did not came. Jinsu, did you really show me like this? I trusted you. She was crying while looking down but there have some people in the crowd who were smirking. Finally, everything is shorted. Now we can get his company. Sir, your grandson is fine. Only some scratches we got on his hand. Say to the old man who is standing in front of the OT holding his five years old grandson. He was sleeping on his grass, talking cutely. How is my son and daughter in law? The doctor looked down by the man's question. How is he? Not good. His health deteriorating every second. We don't think we will able to save him. The old man Sagan closed his eyes, but then a doctor came out of the OT and said, We need a heart to save his life. Only a heart can bring back him from the deathbed. But sir, where can I find a heart donor now? We don't have. I can donate my heart. The both doctor looked at him with wide eyes. Sir, you can't give your heart to someone when he is not your family member. And look at your age. I know my age. But I am more stronger than your thoughts. And most important thing, he was the one who saved my grandson, even he was injured himself. But sir, if something happened to you, who will look after your grandson? You don't have to think about it, just prepare the OD. But sir, he glared at them, made them shut their mouth before rushing toward the OD. I trust him more than anything. I know I am not doing anything wrong. He took out his phone and called someone. Gian, I want you to in XX hospital. Now. He hung the call and turned his head to his grandson. It's time to say goodbye. skip after one month mommy you know i really like your handmade chips oh my son what about me mommy sana i also love you you know i always wanted you as my mommy you are so sweet and cute please never leave us like our mom did right you know but yes mommy whenever you come to our house with uncle they're always glad at you without Without your knowledge, sometimes talk with your photo. He said innocently but enough to make her shock. She about to ask more when the door burst over revealing Lim Jisang, who is completely drunk, barely able to stand. He looked at her, made her scared out of the hell. The maids come to Hana before taking the kids from her made her confused. She looked back to him who is slowly approaching her. She can feel something bad going to happen with her so she slowly made her way toward upstairs. But he was enough faster than her thoughts. He held her hand and pulled back. What are you doing? Leave my hand. Jisung, what kind of behavior is this? What? You are my wife and I have right to touch you. No, you can't. We are not real couple. After one year, we are getting divorced. 
but now I am your husband and you are my wife. You know what? Get ready. Times gave after four hours. She was lying on the bed, clenching the bed sheet tightly, which was covering her body. Dry tears visible on her cheeks. Eyes become fluffy. Look at her right side. Saw the monster sleeping soundly. After ruin her, it's make her disgusted about herself. Slowly sliding from the bed, she made her way toward the mirror. Staring at her beautiful face, but now it's totally ruined. Fresh boorish, red purple marks included the handprint on her cheeks, which she got from her husband after trying to stop him from using his right. A sad struggle left from her lips. Where are you? Did you really love me? Was wrong that right? You were only behind my money. Was everything right? What my life will come. Time skip in days. She was sitting on the bed, grabbing the pillow tightly. After she saw her ex boyfriend's news, cops found their dead body on the river with gun. The person's face was completely damaged. Cops identified the person by his ID proof, have a couple picture in his wallet. The photo was clear. Because of the waterproof wallet, comes in from her about this. Now she is watching the TV, not knowing how to react. They also say the accident happened almost one and a half months ago. He didn't left me by himself. He was taken by God. Why these all things are happening with me? Why? What is my fault? She about to rush from room when her husband stood in front of her before saying. Where are you going? None of your business. Don't pretend like you care about me. I care about you. No, you don't. That's why you able to. I told you many times I was drunk. I never wanted to do that. This line is not gonna work in this matter. More than this, you have a high alcohol tolerance. You never got drunk that easily. What if I say you did everything purposely? I'm telling you, I did not. No, you did. Cut off when she felt her head spinning. Then everything went blank. Time skipped after one hour. Anna was standing at the doctor who is congratulating Jason because he is going to be dead. Congratulations. Jason was beyond happy, but Hana was in her own thoughts. She flinched when Jason hold her hand made her jump. Thank you for giving me this gift. I'm really happy. What happened that? Why are you screaming? Jihan jumped in excitement ran to Hana but Sana stood in her place thinking about something. Those women stop loving us after it gets a baby? Time skipped after 7 months. Hana was sitting on the bed staring at the wall blankly. She was depressed since the day when her husband did that, but after I get to know she is pregnant, she is more depressed. She knows it can harm her baby, but she can't do anything. Everyone is happy thinking about the baby, but no one is able to catch the sadness behind her beautiful smile. She was drowning in her thoughts when she felt the sharp pain on her belly, made her gasp loudly, made her girl then she feels something warm and wet on her legs and she know what is this let's sing the papers she said giving the papers to Jisang who look at the nurse then the paper you only choose one the baby or the mother it was really a critical case for us she was suffering from depression it made her body weak now 
You can understand what I am trying to say. The son called her mom that who just reached the hospital. They don't want to see their one and only daughter's dead body. They can have another grandchild. So everyone chose to save the mother without knowing the mother already chose the baby. I'm sorry for your loss. What do you mean by you did not able to save my daughter? In one paper, we completely mentioned you want our daughter safe then. It's not our fault, sir. Your daughter was the one who chose to sacrifice herself just to save this little angel. And why are you blaming us for not able to save her? It was your fault too. She said she already sacrificed herself just to keep her father's back. She already died long time ago. She was tired of fighting alone with the depression. She wanted to sleep. She was tired. When doctor said this, her mom dead, lower her head, knowing doctor was right. I don't want this baby. I just want her and my kids. How they will be react if they get to know their mommy is no more. The reason is this baby. I don't want it. Give her to any. You can't, and if you did this, I will make sure you will go to jail soon. Take care of her or you. Times came after four years. Honey, what are you doing? Let me do this. Baby Wayana. The little girl looked at the maid and smiled cutely, made her heart melt. I'm making this for daddy. You know daddy like this? The maid looked at her with a sad eyes knowing how much you love your family, where they always ignore you like you don't even exist. Same goes to your grandparents. They always bring gifts for other two kids but never give you a toffee. You always stand in corner staring at them with a sad pout as your dad told you never came in front of anyone and you also obey them. You were six years younger than Jihoon and four years from Sana. They also never talk with you. They always blame you for your mother's death. Your sister always lie about you in front of your dad and that you get punishment from him. You always endure everything like a good girl. Even made feel bad about you how you get treated in this young age. So you are there coming to kitchen for water. You run to him and hold his hand made to make a smile. There your dad look at you than the maid. How many times I have to tell you not to let her come in front of my face. He said with a loud voice made you little scared. He look at the maid feeling bad after getting scolded by your dad without any reason.
you'll be continued.